Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a fun card to show you today. I have to say I am voice recording over this video today, which I don't normally do. My camera didn't record the voice, so if my words don't match what I'm doing with my hands, please forgive me. All right, this is a really cool fun fold. It has this little mini card at the top and this angled side um, pay, uh, side page that opens up easily. I'm using the new Autumn to Remember stamp set on the front for those little trees. It coordinates beautifully with this new designer series paper called Sweet Days of Autumn. Um, it's in our scrapbooking brochure, but obviously you can use it for more than just scrapbooking. All right, so the sentiment and is from the Autumn Leaves stamp set too that's in our annual catalog. All right, well, let's get started. You're gonna need a piece of early espresso that is five and a half by eight and a half. You just score it at four and a fourth or fold it in the middle. It's a regular card base, um, just scored right there in the middle. You're gonna need to get your stamp and trimmer and you're gonna wanna take that top corner and put it right in the gutter of your trimmer, right there, and then turn your card so that that bottom left corner is also in the gutter. And you're just gonna slice that off to make a, um, Angle, right there, perfect angle, all right? And then you've got this extra piece, just throw that away. And then you're gonna need a piece of designer series paper, four by five and a fourth. And we're gonna cut this at an angle too. It's got two really cute prints. You have to decide which one to use. Um, but look at your angle and decide which way to cut your card. You wanna cut it on the diagonal like that. Sometimes if you cut the wrong way, the print you want isn't facing the right way, so just make sure you're looking at which corner to cut that from. All right, so slice that off, save that second triangle for another card. You've got two now, so now you need to make two cards. All right, so we're gonna put this grid pattern. You guys know I always go for the grid or the gingham. Um, put this grid pattern here on the front using stamp and seal right there. Get that lined up perfectly. There we go. All right, and then on the end side, another piece of this designer series paper, four by five and a fourth, put that right on the inside like that. All right, now you're gonna take your little mini card. This is also early espresso and it measures um, three by eight and a half and you're gonna fold it in half on the long side. And we're gonna adhere it right there in the middle. And I like to um, close that front, um, that front angle to make sure it's centered for whatever reason. I feel like I can center it better when it's closed. But be careful with that left corner up there. If it's too close, it makes it a little bit hard to close it sometimes. All right, on the inside, uh, actually, this is gonna go on the outside. We're gonna put a piece of the designer series paper. I love both of these prints, but we're gonna use the trees because that's the stamp we're gonna use as well. The, the little tree stamp, super cute. All right, now you're gonna take a little piece of very vanilla for the end side. Both of those pieces measure uh, two and three fourths by four. We're gonna stamp, stamp this little vine over on the right side in early espresso ink. Put your adhesive and put this on the inside. If you wanna turn this into a gift card holder, you could do that too, here on the inside. All right, let's do some stamping. I've got a very vanilla circle. Uh, this is the Spotlight on Nature dies. And uh, we're gonna stamp those trees in Cajun Craze. This is a distinctive stamp, so it stamps with a lot of texture on it, as you can see. Um, and then we'll stamp the sentiment in early espresso right there on the top. All right, we're gonna add this to the front of the card with dimensionals, always with the dimensionals for me. And you just need one or two and put them on the uh, right side of that circle because this circle is gonna hang off the edge of that mini card just a little bit like that kind of offset, just a tiny bit. All right, now let's embellish it. I've got a piece of pecan pie center stripe ribbon here. Just tie a little bow. And you know, if you hold that center right there, it, it will help you adjust the length. Let's see how I'm holding it. And you pull the ends like that, and then you can adjust it. This is um, pretty thick ribbon, so you don't want your ribbon to be too bulky, your bow to be too bulky. Trim those ends off at an angle. Grab your glue dots. And we're gonna stick it right on the left side of that circle. 
right here. All right, now how about some dots? These are called earth tone adhesive backed dots. Um, any of the colors really would go well. So I'm gonna use these. I don't know what color these are, but um, they are perfect. And um, they're kind of a soft shimmery, somewhere in between a Cajun craze and pecan pie. On the inside, I'm gonna move, use mo uh, more of the neutral dots. Let's put two up here and one down here as well. All right, there we go. You guys, a really easy card that you can make, um, you know, any season, any occasion. And I think it has pretty big wow factor. All right, check my blog for that free PDF and the other fall projects I have today on my blog. Um, I hope you enjoyed this project. Thanks, everybody.